Oh, we're back. What a way to come back. Continue here from Las Vegas, live on TNT on Collision. Tony Schiavone, Kevin Kelly, Nigel McGinnis with you. And right now, Star Jr. in the clutches of Claudio Castagnoli. John Moxley's got a little bit of a ding on his forehead. A little bit of blood coming down from there. We'll see if that has any impact in this match as we go along. Here's a pickup. Uh oh Whoa! How about that, Dearis? In mid-air that time, the tag is made. And here comes Efinje. Efinje sends John Moxley in. Moxley tumbles away. Wow, an Enziguri, maybe more of a Gomin Gary to the face that time. And a great thrust kick. As Finn Hay will go over to John Moxley. Do the old monkey flip out. Whoa. Yeah, you can see where Moxley got digged away a bit on that dive on the outside. Claudio's got one too on his left pack. Whoa, Whoa. elevation. <laughs> that time, it's Finn Hay. Oh, here oh. we go. I mentioned it earlier. This innovative pinning combination, a version of the Indian Deathlock into a head bridge if he can get back for it. No, no, it was broken up in the nick of time that time by Claudio, or it would have been a one, two, three. Castagnoli had it scouted, but not that. Star Jr. comes crashing through. Miss Moxley misses two, but Star Jr. did not. Star Jr. wipes out John Moxley with a running lariat. And now, Star Jr. into the ring. Oh, how about that tornado? Oh, spinning through. Back in the ring. And spin head. Could be it. One, two, go. Oh, that was close, though. That was close. The Pharaoh who rules Esfinghe nearly beat John Moxley. Wow, we're going to take a look once again at, at the tornado here. Uh, <laughs> twisting, taking down Castagnoli, and then Straight splash to a lower abdomen, driving the wind out of the rib cage of Moxley. Oh my! Back in action, Moxley! No! Nearly decapitates his finger. King Kong Lariat, Moxley throws him out and got the one, got the two, and no, he did not get it. So close for John Moxley. Moxley slaps the mat. He thought he had it. After Moxley was beaten down, by four members of CMLL who were guests of AEW watching the event a few weeks ago from their seats. Moxley said, fine, you know, we respect wrestling, we respect Lucha Libre, we respect CMLL. You want to bring this fight to us? That's fine, but be careful what you wish for. I would say it's the opposite. That the Blackpool Combat Club might be surprised what they've been catching from CMLL. Might have to agree with you. There's a lot of depth of talent south of the border in CMLL, and they could all come back up here. It's Finhey with a kick to the back of the knee of Moxley, and then a rising knee strike. Moxley staggered, turns around. Tags made. Star Jr. Moxley, man. Moxley didn't see the tag, but Claudio did. Boy, Claudio with a gorilla press into a cutter, my God. One, two, and a save. By Hay. Great matchup, guys. Oh. Oh, boy. He's got to fight his way out of town yeah. with Esfinhey. Esfinhey is willing to do that as well, Kevin. He knows what he's, well, what he's up against. That has not deterred him at all. Ricola. There it was the Ricola bomb and a roll up. Oh. oh, nasty, brutal kick to the jaw. Star Junior. Hammer and blows this time by Mox. Look at his head. Just reverberating from those elbow shots in there. Full arm bar yeah, kicks out. That's it. Luchi Katami is put on, and the match Middle is over. by submission, Blackpool Combat Club's Claudio Castagnoli and John Moxley. Well, Moxley said, hey, we want to fight. We want to fight. It doesn't matter who. They got it tonight from members of CMLL. Look at the blood all over Claudio. Yeah. And of course, later on tonight, just a few hours, matter of fact, Brian Danielson in Osaka, he'll take on Zack Sabre Jr. BCC fighting all over the world. And these two look like they've been in a hell of a fight here on a Saturday night, a collision.
Gracias, amigos. You take that message back to CMLL in Mexico or anywhere else in the world you want. And you tell any team anywhere in the world, if they want to step up, they get stepped on. Wait, Tony, look. Wait, I, I hear the music. Hold the phone here, everybody. Moxley said, any team in the world, take a look at this. You want to step up, you get stepped on. Top guys are stepping in. That's been trio success for FTR as of late with Daniel Garcia, but having put to bed the issue with the House of Black, it seems like FTR wants to, well, they may have heard something that caught their ear from John Moxley. Wow. I don't know if we ever thought we would see this or not, but you've got two teams. Neither man, neither team will back down from a fight or a challenge. Dax in the face of Mox, catch the ball. Oh, oh, it didn't boy. take long. It did not take long for the fish to come to fly here. Yeah. We are bringing out members of security. Get this separated as quick as possible because one or all four of these guys could get hurt. This is going to turn into an incendiary conflict. The locker room starting to empty as well. I mean, just those words from John Moxley started this. Claudio just grabbing at the head here. That catch Wheeler, there you see it. I don't know if the referees or the, or the locker room can contain this. Good, you want to step up? I love it. Moxley goes back in for some more. All right, fans. All right, let's Whoa. get it. Whoa, wait a minute, stay with us. We've got to take a trip. They're coming our way. Hold on. Get out of the way, everybody. Watch out. 